Well, why don't we uh, do something here to surprise people a little bit? Oh, let's do a color reveal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and this is me, no, bro. Hey, everybody. It's Earl from Classic Car Creation. Yeah. And what you see right here behind us is none other than Eleanor, the 1956 Beetle. And as you know, if you've been following this project, we've been a little slow on updates, but we're going to talk about what's going on with it now because we both have a really, really tough year here. And I haven't been here since at least, what, summer? I think it was. To say it's been I have to go back in the calendar and look. Yeah, I think it's been at least since the summer. Else. But even since then, so much has changed. And we're going to talk a little bit about that today. Uh, one of the things you mentioned is the roof. You said you... It's done. It's done. Yeah, we're done. It's done. It's done. Actually, yeah, flat you can now. touch it. It's flat. It's done. I'm once afraid to. No, you're fine. <laughs> it's, once it's in 2K, we're good because we're just down to a final. Uh -huh. So we'll okay. just check it again. But for the most part, it's it's ready to go. Dome come. is just Yeah, and it's right on the money where it should be. It is just fantastic. The cow here is still in high build, but that's uh -huh. it's pretty much blocked out. You can see when you have a block and the streak stays consistent and it doesn't change much. The gotcha. handle's fine now. It's pretty stabilized, good, so good. that's good. Um, we hung the doors on Eleanor, mm -hmm. so the doors are here now. There, now we had the this passenger side took a lot of time. It took like eight hours to move it up and then move it back and then reposition and shim. So I got a couple mm -hmm. thousands here and add more down at the bottom, and now it works. But the doors were originally pulled off the car, profiled separately, so they're symmetrical both ways, and then put back on the car, and then we build them apart okay. so they can fit the car because the car is a one-off. It is one-off. So, one -off. but this door does fit nicer now. I remember this was the first door you did. <laughs> And this side was a lot easier. I did most yeah. of this in one day. Yeah, and that's that how took a couple weeks. <laughs> that particular door just goes back on the car. Oh, fantastic. But this one does too now. It's just a matter of we had to get it means I'm an there. expert now. Well, for <laughs> hidden hinges, hidden hinges on a VW are interesting because you have this panel comes out like this. Right. So you have to overcome when you do the swing. So why they designed this on the outside was interesting because they knew that was going to interfere. So what we have to do is get a little tricky with it. So we're going to move the plate in a little bit to curve around it because I got to compact this halfway point here because it rides tight to go open. Yeah. In fact, the door, door arc is completely different than factor yeah, anyway yeah. because the fulcrum yeah. used to be out here, whereas now it's way up. Now here. that you move it a half inch in, right. I lose half inch. Yep. So that's so why I was saying when you when there. you were building the girl, I was like, Sandy, <laughs> man, just make sure you gap this real good because I'm going to need every ounce, and now you see why. Because yep, yep. now that we're putting the profile in the panel, now you know. But a lot, but that's pretty cool. A lot has certainly changed, and the car is just she, she's we're absolutely close. gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, we're, yeah, you're, we're, really we're just down to flattening the panels both sides here, mm -hmm. and then blocking everything straight, putting in final prime. We're good. The fenders are already done. So the hood's <laughs> done, tell but the, buddy, they're done. Yeah, <laughs> the deck is the most part is done. This is done in here. I don't like a little bit of here, and we're really wonky from here to here with the hood because I body worked the hood. It has nothing in it but primer. We worked it nine ways to Sunday, and the problem we have it gaps too much here where you have yeah. too much here. This is where the front of the car. If anybody yeah. didn't know, the car was actually well the front half of the car because this is a donor piece. It was front ended and it got hit. And as a result, it's a, it's a little flat here, and the hood, as you know, was curved, so it opens up a bit of a gap that you can put a finger in on either side. So Earl's tweaking that right now. He's going to see what he can do with it. Uh, it, it, it. It's one of them things, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What we're trying to do is trying to get her to completion. We're trying to pick the pace back up. It was just a rough year, and I had uh, issues health-wise, mm -hmm. and so I'm getting back into the groove. December's not too bad. We're picking back up again. We got the help back in the shop. So we're processing cars, so it's on the up and up right now. So it's a good thing, even though we wanted to be done by October, but nothing happened good in 2020. And 2021 looks like it's saying, hey, 2020, hold my beer. So <laughs> let's, we'll get her done. Well, let's hope um, it's not and that we, Yeah, we're trying not to have any more anomalies. But like I say, life gets in the way. It does. It That's does. why everyone asks me, hey, when is it gonna be done? Because life gets in the way, I do get it. But I got a, I got a hot list and cars that are already here in the main bay right now, especially mm -hmm. Eleanor, it's going to go over the curb very soon. So we're at the point where I can actually shoot it. Um, like I said, we even test shot a lot of parts, a lot of parts were in the test shot. 
they're out of off camera. A lot of the footage, I just didn't have the time to shoot it and then process it. It takes me about eight hours where Glenn's got this doohickey, and it's that's a nice piece of equipment, man. Well, thank you. I'm still off, of, uh, and I'm working off an S8 with, with some just generic software. So it gets the job done, though. It, really it does. does. That it has does. a ton of bells and whistles on it. That's that really I don't nice. even like anymore. It's yeah. just. Uh, but it does have the nice wide-angle lens on it, which makes this shooting yeah, possible it does. at it does. close range. Yeah, the camera's yeah. right there. I can almost touch it. That's <laughs> really cool. So it gets a wider view. Yeah, it's much wider view. So not so where us, when it hits on, I, I don't have that option. Yeah. So and you can show them the, as we talk. the gas tank is done. Mm -hmm. I know that your footage will be better. You were in 4K. I'm only in 1080. So. Actually, it is 4K. I just turned that on the other day. Yeah. I haven't been using it. But oh, just okay. Because I've seen a couple videos were 4K, and I had it back way off. Because my streaming won't do it. It takes forever for it to render, yes. too. Yeah. Like three hours for the 20-something yeah. minute video. That's pretty <laughs> There's cool. There's a lot of effects that go into it, too, and yeah. that makes it render longer, as we know. Yeah. It, uh, it was about three hours for that one. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, so it's just it's good to see you. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. I know you had a lot of issues hit you, oh, and the last video you had, it's got me a little concerned. Hopefully you can get over the mound of issues that you've had at your place. Gregory the bus. Yeah, Gregory Gregory's haven't tough. seen it. Go so, back to last Monday's video. Well, actually, yeah. by the time you see this, it might be two Mondays ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> let's say we're here if you need any help with anything. Oh, um, I appreciate that, Earl. And, I mean, uh, I, I did need help with something, and, and you've taken care of me on this. I mean, this is just... This is just... Blessing in disguise that Eleanor is with us here at Classic Car Creations, everyone, because Glenn's had a lot of crap happen to him. I had video that I shot that I was talking about Glenn. Five hurricanes. Yeah, and, and enough's enough kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I had to do I did so much editing I just dumped it out of the video for us. Because I was also like ready to go do a GoFundMe for you. And I was like, ah, oh, so we got one. Yeah. <laughs> so on my end here, we just continued on the low low with the car. I didn't put much footage, I just stopped until Glenn got his stuff together. Now we're starting to get back into it. Mm -hmm. So I will be able to give a video up on this as well. That'd be awesome. So, That'd be really, really uh, good. But Eleanor's doing good. She's in very good keeping. Oh, yeah, she's, she's, and, she's um, gorgeous. Yeah, just gorgeous. Yeah, just, just to see everything is starting to come down. Here. Right. All the stuff that yeah. I had dreamt of, all yeah. the proportions and shapes that I had yeah. gone for. I mean, all these contours and everything, It's, it's they're all coming together. All the big gaps are getting close. All the, the weird bends and shapes yeah. that I had little problems are all now flat. And, uh... I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it, it'll be this year. We're gonna be. I would like to get her home to you very soon. I'm looking at April to get her home at this point. April. Yeah. Okay. Um, Just in time for the next hurricane season. Yeah. yeah. Um, but where I'm going with this, we got a lot of little things to do. We uh -huh. have a couple things like the fenders are. The, the fatter fenders, which was really good. Mm -hmm. I love them. But the the markers were trying to go 56 original, so they don't want to comply. So I got to mod stuff to make it work. Yep. So same thing as the hood, I, I'm going to have to, the hood is the easier of the two to do, but the hood, if I do the hood and, sh and uh, relieve the hood so it closes, it's going to cost hours, and the other is i got to rebody work it. So I was hoping to get away with it, sometimes you don't win. So it's one of those things when you do a custom build, and then I follow up after the metal work, we try to just tweak it so the body work will flow nice. Kind of like um, the Vernon car. Oh, Vernon truck Vernon. car. Yes. I, I got to meet Eric. Did you see yes, that I saw the video. Very good really video. Nice Please go and check it. Yeah, he's really <laughs> cool. And this is the car that's modeled after yep. Vernon. So. I borrowed a lot of his ideas, particularly and, uh, in the rear back here yeah. where I did a lot of the cuts. Uh, that was where, I, well, I'm going to say outright the, stole them and then <laughs> modified it for my own. The, I don't know if you'd say stole it, but what's nice is it gives you the creativity. But yeah, his uh, his car was just is what inspired me to do this. And, and yeah. I probably wouldn't have done that first cut without having seen his. Yeah. And uh, he's just a really, really nice guy. It was, it was so cool meeting him. almost surreal to sit in his car and actually see the What's really nice next is I'm sure you guys want to hook up again and park these two Absolutely, together. Absolutely, yes. So what's going to yes. be really cool. He won't let cool. me not do it. Yeah, you guys got to do it because you have the same, you have the same shared roof line. Yep. Very similar anyway. I wanted mine a little different. I wanted yeah. my slope more forward. He wanted his more leveled. I changed a lot of things. Also, mine's a little longer. He brought his in a little bit. A little bit. He took the fenders off, so he yeah, he made it a little easier on himself. Yeah, because there was no deck lid. Yeah. Yeah. Although he has a deck lid, but he yeah. doesn't use it. I'm trying to get his deck lid because yeah. it's, it's, it's a W deck lid. Oh right, like, right. Give that to right. me. Right. Yeah, I like those. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I hope Eric's watching. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe he is. Hey, Eric. <laughs> Link down below in the video description to his YouTube. He's also got an Instagram, so you'll find that down below too. Absolutely. But, uh, Real good guy. Um, but yeah, the, the, everything that we 
your creation to what we're trying to follow up behind you is working out really well. It just takes time. It does take time. I, we don't hit this car every day, everybody. If I did, it would be long gone. It would be out of here. It would be broke. We, I, but the problem is, yeah, I got client cars that are here that, that pay the bills. So right. that's what I got to do. I got to pay right. bills first and then play. And that's right, you guys. You heard it first. It's not an eighty thousand dollar mope. No, I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. sorry. It's not. No, it's not. It's something that we're trying to help Glenn get his dream, and uh, I have the same vision as Glenn because I, I can do the car. If I did not have the same vision, I couldn't have done it. So I already know what it's going to look like done. It's going to be pretty killer, and uh, a lot of good stuff coming this year with this car. Hopefully, everybody will have a better year. But uh, we'll just we'll see how it pans out. Here's hoping. Here's hoping. Well, why don't we uh, do something here to surprise people a little bit? Oh, let's do a color reveal! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I got some parts painted. Yeah. When I go in to panel paint this car, because it's not going to be painted as one, um, there's a gentleman on YouTube. He's real cool. He's from New York. He painted the car and he showed me the, the link to it. Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicUWBugs.com. He panel painted the car and he did it right. So I really like the fact that there's are, there are YouTubers out there that do it right. So we're going to be panel painting everything on this particular car. Fantastic. So that, that will happen. Um, we do have some cleanup to do still up underneath in the area, up underneath here. Uh, the dash is done underneath. The inside is 90% done. Mm -hmm. um, the engine bay and up underneath is got to be cleaned up a little bit more. Um, I don't. We'll figure out when you're ready. Loopers. The louvers, we, we're staying away from the, the louvers. Under louvers. They're gonna, yeah, yeah, they're they're tough. And the louvers in the back here that are above the deck, uh, they're tough. So I'm gonna have to wand that color in, and then I gotta <laughs> find a way to paper it all up. So when I hit the paint, uh, it's not gonna blast it and kill it, you know. Yeah, so the it's inside, gonna be really tricky. Inside the louvers, black. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I gotta wand the black in, and then I gotta. I Those of you that don't know, inside the louvers on the back of a beetle, it's always painted body color, but yeah. the dirt and things just, just get in there, and you can't clean mess. it, and you always see it. Yeah. So if it's black, yeah. you won't see the dirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, I think it'll make it pop a little more too. Yeah, it'll, it'll add a little contrast. No, what's interesting on the deck on this one, the deck lid has the fins that go out this way. But the back panel on this 56 has only goes to this far. So it's interesting yeah, they, you have this on the top and then it comes down at the bottom. Right. So you're not only as fins. wide as the window. Yes. So so I think that's the way they, they built them. If yeah. the window was this wide, the louvers went out that wide. Right. So yeah. that's going to be interesting that you see that. That's something you're okay with. So yeah, yeah it's supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you'll see a double cell louvers mm -hmm. back there. Yep. Extra cool and what the heck. Um, that's what it was there for. I mean, yeah. the convertible deck lid, you yeah. guys knew that. Uh, the convertibles didn't have louvers on the back of the bodies. So they yeah. put them in the lid, and it just fractured the completely because I probably will, in time, put a uh, hot bob engine in there, you know, some kind of some right. something special. <laughs> How much heat transfers through the access panel or on the back wall? Do we have a lot, or are you going to be putting insulation? No, insulated. In? Okay, okay, so the transfer of heat, if you're over 150, 160 degrees, you're going to transfer it to the paint, which can handle it. It just may expand the metal different than the bodywork. It okay. might get about that hot being air cooled. So, so yeah, it, it might get that hot. Okay, there's but more on the bottom area because no. the hot air goes down. Yeah, contrary to science. Yeah, you're fine. If, if the back, back wall can stay <laughs> about less than 145, you're good. The back wall will be insulated. But yeah, when the heat goes down, it comes no, back up. I'm not worried about that. Yeah, yeah. underneath yeah. the fenders, and yeah, the, which is the part part. nobody's going to see. Yeah, the part you don't attention to detail here. Well, we wanted to do inside out, up, down, and it was like, why is it taking so long? We're go in there with a piece of sandpaper and do this for four or five hours. It, it How about when you guys judge it at a show, get in there with a magnifying glass? Yeah, you can do that. that and that's what we wanted. If you do B-roll in there, you'll uh, you know, show everybody what's going on. Because they give them a refresher. We've done a couple, but when people watch videos, they'll just, they get buried. They're like, what's the next one? What's the next one? So they're not going to go back and remember yeah. it. Yeah. So like for us, actually what we do is we know where the car's been and know where it's going. I still save a video in my watch list of yours, your, this this car when you first got it. Oh, yeah. That's a very important <laughs> video for me because it shows me a lot. So it's pretty interesting. People still comment on the earlier video. Yeah. Too. You're never going to finish that. That thing's a piece. I'm like, you're still commenting that? Yeah. You're not seeing what we yeah, have we're, today? we're at the point of painting now. You're, you're wasting so, your money. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to have a car that you're not. Yeah. yeah. And it, <laughs> but I'm and wasting my money. <laughs> it is something that Glenn wanted to build. So that's, Yeah, this is this, this is, is a dream. Yeah, this is not just a, a typical 56. This is something that's 
concocted from a dream that he wanted, chopped mm -hmm. up, everything special. And what was neat is he didn't destroy an original 56. No. The 56 was already kind of taken by Mother Nature. Yeah, so you brought it back to life. And, and not many people can do that. So it's pretty That's cool. what my dad said, too. And I wish he would have been here to have seen this. Although yeah. he got to watch the videos with Good. me. We sat down in the kitchen. Yeah. And I opened up his laptop. And I showed him how to watch my YouTube process. Yes. And progress. And he got to see that. And he, he was just shaking his head. He, he was just... Uh, Amazed at what I had done, yeah. and he said, "I didn't teach you any of this. How did you figure it out?" So so like, just kind of was yeah, falling yeah, fall Just kind of figured it out yeah. on my own. He did show me how to color sand, how to do that kind of stuff, how to use filler, and uh, he also showed me how to take things apart, which was yeah. kind of a big step in the process. Because I did work in an auto body shop at 17 years old. Yeah. I would unbolt things. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the guy would run through the bolt, pull everything apart, 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 and yeah. then put it all in pet and yeah. send it off to the next guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I learned how everything came apart, and I learned how to organize things so you don't lose them. Yeah. And of course, my shop is way too busy for that, so everything gets lost anyway. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I need a bigger space. Yeah. So down below, you guys, there's a, a PayPal link if you want to donate to the shop fund. Right. Or hit me up on Patreon. I really do appreciate that. I'm not spending that on things like uh, hookers and booze and cocaine and things like that. No, it's actually going into making this YouTube better, bigger and better. Yes. And that's really what the goal is here, is to, to build this stuff, demonstrate it, maybe teach somebody, which I've become a student teacher with me, as you've probably seen my yes. trash here, it, it, which yeah. changes the dynamic of my YouTube channel yes. a lot. I mean, yeah, okay, we get a little trashy, we talk some jokes, and we have a lot of fun with it, but it's a, a student-teacher relationship. Everything you see, she, she is seeing is brand new for the first time. Yeah. And <clears throat> once I've got her doing it the right way, now I've reached a level of mastery, you know, yeah. so that, that's, it's kind of a, a different dynamic. Uh, on my end, uh, we do a lot of restoration, and there's like, right, you see a lot of bodywork videos, and then people are asking me questions through the videos and everything, well there's all different routes to get to the point of mm -hmm. done, okay, and my methods are like, well I had people comment, well why are you building with primer, why are you doing it this way, and I'm like, there's all different methods to get to there, if your method works, then by all means use it. Yeah. My method may not work for you, or it might work for somebody else. But the, what we have adopted here, we've had a very high success rate, mm -hmm. and no comeback. So that's what I want. But that the reason why no comeback is because no dieback, because we let the material sit a little bit. That's but now that it's done, I'm ready to roll. Now, of course, we can blow through anything and make it nice, but I'll know when it comes back, I can see if anything's changed. Like when we get pristine, we look at Bill's car, and that car was done 10 years ago. And I can look at what's done anything, moved or anything, and we're pretty damn stable, because we did the car in the dry season, and then we also did it to where we had enough time to keep what we came in the car. So it works out really well, and this car is ready to go. We don't have to worry about any more dieback. We've already built the preliminary um, middle part of this year ready, and we knocked this out. Oh my gosh, we're going on a year. Because I knocked this out over uh, New Year's last year, and this was a very big piece for me to do right. Mm -hmm. This took a lot of time to get right, and then we built this area up, because this was an issue. Um, but other than that, it's been a we need to create some t-shirts. Classic car creations. Yeah. No dieback, no comeback. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> I'd buy one. We're just a tiny little <laughs> shop. Um, the thing about what I do is not many people younger than me, and I'm already in my 50s, uh, not many people don't want to do this no more. And if they do, well, you're not much younger than me. Yeah, ten years. You're ten years younger. Yeah, ten years. Yeah. So I am younger. Wait till you hit fifty. Oh my! I got more gray hair than you do. I don't have much hair. That's why I leave a hat. No, I'm on. catching up. I'm gonna end up shaving it all off. It's coming. Um, it just happens. Age, gravity doesn't do us any favors when we hit fifty. But uh, no, nobody wants to do this anymore. It's a dying business. It, it is, really it is. is. And then I don't even can you imagine another ten years from now? And if anybody's gonna do any of this, it'll be a hobbyist at best. Uh, most of these shops are weeding out. I don't know if I mentioned it to you, but I had a friend of mine from high school, my age, graduated with me in my graduating class. He, he restores old uh, American steel and occasionally pulls in Volkswagens too. So he's got a, a little shop, about half the size of what you've got here. He takes in a couple cars every several months and you know, works on yeah. some different things and puts them together. And uh, he got some help hired. He hired some people, you know, right out of high school in their early 20s and they're working and they're sanding and they're straightening panels and all this stuff. And, and the one guy said to me, he says, when are we going to work on something new? And, and Chris was just like, what? Yeah, it'll throw. This is not a collision shop. No, we're not this collision. Is, we're, we're restoring yeah, classic, restoration original, yeah. real steel cars. Yes. He quit. Yeah. I want you to go work for Pontiac or something. Yeah, one see, of the <laughs> collision 
you're only is going to make as much as the insurance company's going to allow. Is that and true? And then you got the deductible, and you got to deal with all that crap, and then you got to deal with all the aftermarket parts that they want to put on the car or stuff that's that they don't want to put the factory stuff in because mm -hmm. the insurance companies want to chip you. And then it's so much pressure on collision shops today that they don't want to put the good product in because it's cost effective. Faster, faster, faster. Because faster, faster. the person's already got yeah. a collision, they figured, well, the math has already been done. By the time you're done paying your car off, you're going for another car anyway. So no matter what, like your warranty, to your payoff, to everything in between, they already calculated everything. So just gotta keep turning it's out. just an appliance. So and it things doesn't mean like it, what's die back yeah. become a they don't care issue. about oh yeah, my they, they, God. they don't care about collision <laughs> people. Get them in, get them done, make their money, get out, and that's it. Different in restoration, you get people that love their car and want their car done right. It's a different spectrum. So the time continue totally. away, and let's just concentrate on the car at hand. Totally. Again, we could pro we could have progressed this car right to the October deadline, what we talked about earlier in the year. But when life gets in the way, and so many things happen, and we just say, okay, we can't work on it, or we're not feeling good today, or something's not right, or you had something going on, I had something going on. It's, it changes everything. So we stopped for a minute. Now we're going to get our head back in the game and get rolling. We've yeah. been, like I said, working on and off a little bit here and there. Mm -hmm. This year, this this month is going to ramp pretty good. And a collision shop wouldn't have even taken in a project like this. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, it, it would have been in the way of the real money. you got to even be careful of restoration shops because yeah. they'll know if they see something. If they saw a hand built car come in, they would have said, take it out of here. The liability you have with body work is excessive. Uh, um, like when you put so much millage in, like we put millage into here, mm -hmm. we know we have good product. We know it's going to last a long time. It's safe. It's not going to do anything stupid, but it's also liability. I put material where I had no choice. I have to make it something mm -hmm. it isn't. And, the, and it becomes, well, well why didn't you just strip? Because it's a hand built. You know, let's go back to point A again. It's a hand built, it's a custom car, it, it's, it's unique. So no one's exempt in that area. So you got to pick and choose the battle. That was non structural anyway. Non structural. The structure's fine in the car. The structure's fine. The car ain't going anywhere. It, believe me, when we tried to kick the front end over to get the hood to line, when we moved it a little bit, mm -hmm. This car ain't having any movement. This car is welded solid. It ain't moving. <laughs> so I got to hit the ball where it lies. We should. You got a little video of how you. Uh, I didn't do that. I didn't do. I, didn't do I don't like to shoot footage of stuff that gets sketchy. Oh, it was. It was. Yeah. There, you got to do what you got to do to make it work. And with the way we moved it over, we moved it a little bit. But the car structurally, again, is so strong. We couldn't. We can only get it a little bit. And normally when I do a pull, I like to over pull it to let it come back because it's going to move back anyway because metal has memory. And this one doesn't forget. So I had a, a, a beetle where the uh, the deck lead you know, has a little scallops yeah. for the exhaust, not the deck, but the rear apron, a little scallops mm -hmm. for the exhaust. So they were supposed to line up at the little holes, yeah. but they were way off. And I mean like an inch and a half. Yeah, they were way off. But the deck lid was straight, which is right. weird. It closed properly. So I drove it up alongside of a tree. Yes. I put a four by four between the back wheel and the tree. Yeah. <laughs> Used to come along right to the one of the both yeah. the bumper brackets actually, and I just moved it until it went a little bit past that point yeah. and let go. <laughs> yeah. I know it sounds rednecky, but it was uh, totally white trash redneck. But, but man, I, I, is, I body stretch. Yeah. It's, it's no good. different than a four post pull. Mm -hmm. You got chains and you anchor the car down and you pull certain areas of the car to straighten it out and then you, you hold the car, you over pull and mm -hmm. stuff. It, it, you get you got to do what you got to do. It's the same process. It doesn't matter. The metal has to get straightened. So my dad had a, a, a Baja Carmen Ghia. Right around the time I was born. He's got a little bit of eight millimeter videos. Uh, I've got to go through. If I can find it, I'll yeah, that'll YouTube. be really cool to see. He put it down in a ditch, and because the front end was cut off of it, there was yeah. no bumper and stuff on the yeah. front. So the tie rods and everything stretched, the wheels went out like that. Yeah. So what he ended up doing was he tied it to a tree and slammed it in reverse. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 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 But he said it was never going to go on the road again. No. It didn't matter. <laughs> this has been a very good project. Um, it, it, it's it's taken a lot of time. It wasn't the big yeah. pieces. It was the little areas and the nooks and crannies that yeah. really took the time. And and there's no area that you couldn't say it's good. You, you just needed to go over and re go and, and just revisit everything that you did and make sure we can get it one up. And that's yeah. what we tried to do. That museum quality restoration. Trying to well, we try to do the best we can. Oh, you do. We don't. <laughs> we don't. Um, parade ourselves. We stay... You don't have to. Your work speaks for itself. You just want everybody to be happy with the quality of the yeah. work you try to do. You know what I mean? We try to put the best foot forward and, and 
whatever you tell, like, oh, we need to do this, we need to do that, we'll just follow it. And that's all because, you know, you captain of the ship, man, we need to freaking get it done. So we're at the point, though, I'm pretty happy with uh, uh, where, minus this hood little issue here, once mm -hmm. I get past this, the door issue, um, the only issue I have is the tight area right here. Other than that, I should be all right. The door handles, I'm going to pre-fit and make sure they're going to fit comfortably yeah. in after the paint job. Yeah. Um, if you put a lot of material in that area, you're prone to cracking the material. But we're okay. We don't have a lot. We work to the high point, like I showed you in many mm -hmm. videos past. We only work to a high point. So anything that you see has metal, like metal showing, even on the back quarter of the car, it's only we're only going to that point. And that's it. We're stopping. So you only fill in voids. No need to put another layer on the car. Just look and see if the fat New Jersey was still it's there. It's gone. I see it's covered. <laughs> yeah, we epoxied it. Um, we're gonna re-epoxy the panels and then uh, go ahead and uh, we're gonna. This is the area, though, that we will be skimming. Yeah. We're going to put a skim coat down the car of 3M Platinum. That's the only way I'm going to get pan this panel to this panel to conform. We've already leveled the door, but we want to level the points where this goes into this. And I want to bring those out and straighten those out and then gap them out. That's how you do it. And then it'll be fine. It's not a lot. It's just enough to make the car aesthetically look kick-ass. So when you look down the side, she's going to look really smooth. Yep. Just like this. And for those of you that are watching that don't know, a Beetle is, does not have flat sides. I mean, no. you might think it does, but they're not no. flat. There's not a single flat panel on this car anywhere. It's shaped, if you're looking straight down, it's like a lemon with fenders. Pretty much. <laughs> literally shaped yeah, like this pointy each end, and it bows out. And not only is it bow out, but it bows this way as well, so yeah. it's a very, very compound curve. Yeah, it is. It's, There's a lot of shapes on this car. Yeah, it gets it gets a little tricky, and you got to bend the block, and you got to sculpt it. So mm -hmm. when we block them, we're, we're bending the block. We use the Dura blocks, which mm -hmm. are pretty smooth, and then when we put the roll paper on it, we bend it, we pre-fit to the contour of the car before we start blocking the car. And that's why we're able to achieve a nice roof of this, or the door curves. The door curves in this car are perfect right now. Yeah, they're, they're, they're right on the money. Yeah. So there, there's nothing going on there, and there has to be, and there's not a lot in it. it rings like a bell. Yeah, you know, it's not a lot in it. I couldn't put. Yeah, you've got to put some dynamite. And if you do yeah. weigh the car down, the door down a little bit, she may change. But just add a shim at the bottom. You may not need it at the top, but the bottom you may. But that's all. You should be fine. Not worried about it. It's just so beautiful. This yeah, she's great. a good girl. This is great. And the great thing about the door weight too, it was concerned. But the glass is going to be smaller than factory yes, centerly, it so it's it's like a lot and less weight is going to be going into that. The so. mechanisms don't weigh anything in yeah, these cars. Really. It's not it's not like what we're dealing with behind us. I got a GTO parked next to Eleanor, mm -hmm. and that's thirty seven hundred pounds of car compared to yeah. what seventeen, yeah, six, yeah. sixteen maybe. And we'll probably put a power window in it. So yeah. we'll figure out that goes. But if I can put the motor way up on the front, so it's yeah. less leverage on it, yeah. it'll help out a lot too. So we'll sure. Figure it out. They're cable driven. Something. I'm interested to see your idea in a future video that you will do of your front windshield. I'm interested to see where you come up with the idea on that. I'm curious where I'm going to wind up too. Because uh, I am going to do it with glass. Yes. And I am going to attempt to do the first cut myself, which I've never done. Yeah. <laughs> so so it's going to be an interesting video. Whether it's successful or a failure, it'll be a great video. Yeah, either way it goes. <laughs> I've seen other people do it in their videos, and uh, it's fine. It's fun, it's entertaining, and that's all that matters. Yep. That's the goal of it, is just to have it as entertaining as possible for everybody. And I'll be doing some uh, custom cut glass for Gregory, too. Yeah. There's a few custom things that I'm doing for that, which I'm not mentioning yet, so don't ask. <laughs> but there's some uh, custom glass I'll need cut for that also, so I'll experiment with that just the same. Yeah. Good thing is, these windshields are pretty easy to get. They're still kind of dime a dozen, but a lot of the bus windows are not. I also <laughs> have the pattern for this, if you need it. I kept the pattern, because oh, we yeah. patterned this because we had to move the corners a little bit. I still got yeah. just a tiny bit in there i got to bring back a little bit. Uh, the corners were now left and right the same, and this to here is proportionate, as well as the rake. So we kept that, so the right where it needs to go. Yeah, there's a, a lot of different ideas we had for what we want to do with the windshield out here. I'm still not committed to any of them yet, yeah. so I guess we'll just figure it's, it out. It's something that point. Glenn's going to come when up I get with. at home, I'll just I'll look yeah, it over. I'll even it. talk to Eric Furman <laughs> and see what he thinks. Yeah. Because he's, he's done a lot of the work himself on his own stuff. Yeah. So. Might as well talk to the expert, because I'm not yeah. that yet in that department. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe we'll do something weird. Maybe we we'll a split windshield that opens up like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, stupid. So, we're good, man. <laughs> I think that's it for now, then. Yeah, um, uh, it's been a long day here. Uh, 
we're shooting this, it's close of business. So yep, Glenn showed up, he had a long drive. We're both tired, we're both hungry. Yes. And uh, Boomer is Boomer impatient. Is, he's waiting for a party or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we're gonna wrap this one up. Don't That's forget right. you guys, licky likey, comment, subscribe, plug that dingle belly, and check out duckshit.net for all of my different social media links. You can also find Earl's channel. Real easy way to get to it is duckshit.net forward slash CCC in your favorite browser. It'll take you right there yeah, and you'll right subscribe to it instantaneously. Yeah. Or you can just type in Classic Heart Creations. We're still up in, uh, on uh, YouTube. We've just been slack a little bit. We've backed off on the videos for a bit. We didn't want to. It's just that we've had so much happening here. And none of it was like, hey, everybody, you know, it's like, oh, you know, just the mood isn't the right. We're just yeah. too busy. We're I just, had a rough month. Here. It, it was, was just a month. Yeah, it was one of those months where I'm like, sometimes we just get them, and now we're December's looking better. That's good. That's yeah. good. It's almost over. Yeah, I know. It's funny. I got footage. I got to get going. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Go figure, bud. All right. These mortgage payments and everything are done. Again. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for watching. We'll see you next time.